21,000 plus will watch it, celebrating 100 years of football. This is the Texas Aggie Network. When we're about to get this one underway, we'll see the Aggie defense first against the Oklahoma offense. Here's the kick. It's a classic cruise kick, end on Duran, in the end zone, taken by Johnson, down on one knee, right on the E in Texas here on the near side. So here we go. Let's see how this one uh, plays today. And Oklahoma comes to the line of scrimmage. It is a single setback play action. Naked bootleg rolling back in this direction. He throws it incomplete. Does Mc Garrick McGee into the Aggie bench. One of the things the Aggies want to do is to make McGee throw the football. Prove to the Aggies that he can throw the ball well. Break the eye. Chandler went in motion. The fullback to pitch it to Allen. He's at the 24, and that'll be all. They tried the left side of the offensive line, and they will bump that one out to about the 24-yard line. It's Oklahoma making a switch here. As Allen, the tailback, had to come out. Probably means Gerald Moore will come into the lineup. Moore, last week, 20 carries, 98 yards. Single setback again, slot left, play action. Throw it, batted back into his face, incomplete. On the third down and five, batting it back, Larry Jackson, the right defensive end. Came in, got in uh, Garrick McGee's face. It ended up back at about the three-yard line. Back to punt the ball is Scott Blanton. He did not have a good game. He had trouble handling that snap, and it's a sailor. That will be taken by Gene Lowry at the 39. Back to the 45, to the 50, hit. Funny, now he pitches the ball at the 45 in OU territory. I don't think that was a fumble. I think he pitched one of his up backs in that form. He pitched it to Typhoon Typho McMullen. McMullen. Out to the 43, and AM has the ball first down and 10 at the OU 43 yard line. Here's the Aggies at the line of scrimmage. First and 10, OU 43. Delay out of the backfield, coming back this way to Rodney. He has the corner, the 40, but somebody caught him around the ankles at the 40. He got three on the game. Larry Bush made the stop. Aggies held him on three downs, made him punt the ball away from their own 25. Now in him with the ball. It's a second down and about seven from the 40. Play action again out in the flats. That ball's underthrown, incomplete at the 35. That was intended for Brian Mitchell. Here's the third down. It's an eye formation. Fullback Cliff Gross. Tailback Rodney Thomas. Long count Corey Pullig with a slot to the right side. There's the snap. Delay out of the backfield at the 40. Diving now down to the 36-yard line. That was Rodney Thomas, the tailback in the eye formation. Short of a first down will be Texas A&M at the OU 36-yard line. Hash mark left side, angle back to the right. Snaps, placed down, kicks on its way. It's got the distance, is it? Good, 53 for Kyle Bryant. A&M ready to kick it off again. Waggis packed. Here's the kick. Cruz kick again, end under end, in the end zone. Johnson's going to return it to the 5, to the 10. Bottled up, knocked down at about the 16-yard line. He returned that from about three yards deep. Dennis Allen, the junior from Hurst, was Johnny on the spot there. We may say here, Dennis on the spot, and made the stop. And on the fullback, Allen the tailback. Garrick McGee calls signals, hands off. Allen hits the middle, gets the 19-yard line. Right behind is Big Center. Gets three. Dennis Allen out of the second there. That's two stops in a row. He got the stop on the kickoff return. And now a stop here on Allen. Their second and seven. They need the Oklahoma to the Sooners. 26. Snap the ball. Hand off again. Goes to Allen once more. Across the 20 to about the 23. They're going to be shy of a first down by three yards. They'll face third when they come back. They're man-to-man -man in the secondary. They want to force Oklahoma to throw the football. All right, third down and about three. Oklahoma's second possession. The Aggies lead three to nothing on a 53-yard field goal by Kyle Bryant. Snap the ball. Again, it goes to the tailback. He will not get it. Allen to the 25, not quite the 25. Larry Jackson again on the stop. Oh, you once more will be forced to punt the ball away. See, that's Leland McElroy now back to return the punt. Standing at the AM. 36. Now they're moving them up a little bit to about the 39. Blanton's last effort was good for 36 yards into the win. A little high on the snap. He controls it. AM with some outside pressure. The kick goes to the left side. Got caught up in the win. Rolls off the back of one of the Aggies and out of bounds at the 42. Uh, went over the back of one of the Aggies and then out of bounds at the OU 42. 
left. Here's an end around. Handed off from uh, Corey to Thomas. Back this way to Wilbert. At the 30. Bounced out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Chris Sanders is the split end on the right side. Here on the near side, I believe that's Brian Mitchell. Mitchell now in motion. We go. The Ags do with a light eye. Long count pulling. He'll hand off. It goes to Thomas. Has a hole over the middle. There's some yardage there to the 18-yard line. That'll be a pickup of about five, maybe six. Broderick Simpson, sophomore out of Dallas, made that stop. Oh, no, you not like LSU. They don't blitz a lot. They're playing it straight, and Sing the Aggies with some success. Single setback is gross. They have flexed Thomas out to the right side. Three wideouts in that direction. Cliff gets the handoff, fighting for a first down on a second, and about five, maybe four. He will get only about the 16. The Ags need the Oklahoma 14-yard line. Wide out, Brian Mitchell wide to the right side. Mahone lines up. Two tight ends in the lineup and an eye formation. McKean's the other tight end. Pulling under center. Calvin Collins hand the ball off. Goes to Thomas. Thomas has the Aggie first down at the 12. They went over the left side. Great blocking. Don't see any changes in the offensive line. They are as we announced them in the pregame. I formation slot to the right open side of the field. Pitch it goes to Rodney looking for the outside. He will maybe lose a half a yard there. They're going to give him the 12. Sanders the split in on the right. Mitchell's in the slot. Split back formation. Tight end is to the left. Open sides to the right. Straight drop. Pulling. Sets up. Short pocket. Lofts one to Rodney. Touchdown in the end zone. About four step. He beat his man out of the backfield. 12-yard touchdown pass pulling to Rodney Thomas. Here's Kyle Bryant trying to get his first extra point at a and Had one block last week. This one is up, and it's good. 8-11 to go in the first quarter. The Aggies have upped it to a 10-0 margin now. But it took six plays to go the 41 yards. They got a key conversion on third and two from Rodney Thomas, a four-yard run, and then the 12-yard pass from Corey Pulling to Rodney for the touchdown, 10 to nothing, Aggie. Here's Waggis back again, a little short on the kick. It'll be taken at the goal line. It's uh, to Darius Johnson at the 10, out to the, about the 18, 19-yard line, and that's all. Darius Johnson right at the goal line on the kickoff by Keith Waggis back. Oklahoma now has started at about their 14, 15, 16-yard line at their 20, their 16, and now their... 19-yard line. Oklahoma has it first down and 10 at that point. Eric McGee is the quarterback for OU. 6'4", 190, a junior out of Oklahoma. 52% passing against Syracuse last week. Out of the eye, fullback gets the carry. Fumble. He fumbled the ball. Well, he must have gotten it back. No act celebrating there. He got the 21 and a half yard line. Real difficult for an option team that doesn't have a proven quarterback to come from behind. This is exactly the scenario the Aggie... Aggies wanted to get ahead on, L on OU. Got a slot to the right. Now McGee setting up to throw. Hits as he throws, and he threw it over the head of everybody down to the a &M 45. He was trying to hit Albert Hall. He was blasted as he released the ball. High formation. Chandler the lead by. Straight drop by McGee. Off to the flats. Throws, and it is caught at the Oklahoma 32 and a half. That's good enough for a first down. Albert Hall, his third reception of the season. Ray Mickens, Junior White, and Steve Kinney now in for uh, Hurricane Hendricks. First down play, McGee sets the pocket, throws one out in the flats at the 30. Got that out to the tailback, crosses the 35, goes to the 40. Two and a half shy of a first down. Second down, about two and a half. Ash to the right, ball at the 40-yard line. It'll keep it on the ground, and it will be a handoff to Allen. Allen is going to be a half-yard shy of a first down for OU. That ball will be spotted inside the 42-yard line. High formation, two tight ends, handoff, fullback. That'll be Chandler. He has the OU first down across the 43. Now they'll send a tight end wide to the right here. That's Jason Harmon. He split out. High formation. Goes to the tailback. Allen breaks one tackle. Gets across the 45 to the 47-yard line. Marks OU now has not played in a &M territory in the ballgame. This is their third possession. Single setback. Trips to the left. A delay out of the backfield to Chandler. The fullback being chased. And he's dropped back at the 43-yard line. One, two, three, four. Blinked out this way, P.J. Mills and Albert Hall on the right side of the formation. Single setback, third and ten. McGee looking down the field, throws one over the middle, going to be caught. And a first down, Oklahoma at the Aggie 45. That's going to be caught by Michael McDaniel at one reception last week. There is a flag down holding Oklahoma. 
Oh. Oklahoma quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Mike Hendricks back in the lineup. Third down and a bunch, about 25 on the scoreboard. McGee throwing back this way, trying to hit his man on the sideline. He threw it over the head of everybody into the Aggie bench out at about the Oklahoma 43 intended for P.J. Mills. Leland McElroy standing at the Aggie 30. Scott Blanton stands back at the Oklahoma 15. His kicks have been 36 and 17. Not quite the win, perhaps, that he faced the first two times that he punted the ball. A&M with 10 men on the line, but nobody coming. He'll give him time to kick it. Wobbly kick will hit at the Aggie 45 and roll inside the 30 and will be killed at the 28. Not much chance there for Leland to uh, pick that ball up and to get any kind of a return. Come bogey with Baroni on September 30th. Call the basketball office about more information. 43-yard kick, most of it on the roll. A&M first and 10 on the ground, coming back this way. Leland trying to bounce it outside, smothered, and now they all whistle it. Dead. They'll give him forward progress, a yard loss from the 29 to the 28. Broderick Simpson eventually pushed him all the way back inside the 20. Brian Matthews, Brian Mitchell, and Kevin Byrne. A shotgun formation for the Aggies. Detron Smith and Leland are the running backs. From the, now they're going to roll right, looking down the field, pulling. There's a flag down. The ball's thrown incomplete at the Aggie 40. The flag is down near the line of scrimmage at the 30-yard line. It's an incomplete pass. Split backs, pulling under center. Play action, sets up the pocket, throws over the middle. It's going to be caught, and it will be good enough for a first down out to the Aggie 44. The reception made at the 44-yard line by Kevin Byrne. The Aggies burn him there. Larry Bush hit him as soon as he caught the ball. Number four in first downs, pulling now two out of four. That was good for 16 yards. Eye formation, flanker right, split in left. Pulling takes it. Hands off to McElroy, a yard there from the 44 to the 45. Tyrell Peters, the number one tackler on the ball club after one game, had 10 tackles last week, seven of them unassisted, made that stop. That's a yard gain for Mack, second down and nine. Detron Smith on the left side in the split back formation, McElroy on the other side. A&M at their 45, straight drop pulling, under some pressure, throws back this way, caught close for the first down by Matthews at the OU 46. That's going to be awfully close for the first down. Larry Bush again, they're picking on that guy today. But there's a flag down about the 40-yard line. I'm afraid this is going to be holding against It A&M. is a holding call against the Aggies on a second down and nine, so rub out the play. Ought to be a great time to break for the great taste of Bud Light. It's a big hit with fans everywhere because it won't fill you up and never let you down so make it a Bud Light split back formation on a second down and long a delay out of the backfield a McElroy will cross the 35 goes to the 37 yard line now it'll be third down and about 15 16 17 Cedric Jones junior from Houston on the Oklahoma tackle the Aggies need the Oklahoma 46 shotgun with a single setback Detron they have two wideouts on both sides of the ball. Pulling now, no motion from the formation. Straight drop by Corey. Looks, throws, back this way. Knocked down, nice play. Try, there's a flag. Maybe could be uh, roughing. it could be roughing on Oklahoma. The flag uh, is at the spot where the ball was knocked down by Tyrell Peters. a &M trying to get it to Gene Lowry. Holding against the Aggies again. Formation that gives two wideouts on both sides of the ball. Shotgun, Detron's the lone blocking back. Pulling stands at the 20, takes the snap, sets the pocket, now throws over the middle, caught by Sanders. It'll be caught at about the 25-yard line. They get uh, about 11 on that, and now the punt will come. Tyrell Peters on that stop of Chris Sanders. But for the first time today, Sean Terry, six kicks for a 38.3-yard average last week. Longest was 44. Stands at the 20, line of scrimmage, the 35-yard line. Oklahoma with uh, nine men on the line. They have a little pr pressure coming, but not a lot. Darius Johnson was back to return the kick. It hits at the Oklahoma 30 and will be killed at that point. They're going to drop the flag on the Aggies at the 30, at the 28-yard line. At the 28, A&M is going to be flagged for hitting the man who caught the ball and then went down on one knee. He was probably on the knee before he was hit. Well, I know, but I think it's kind of hard to stop a freight train. But they will tack on a personal foul yep. here. And the AM faithful unhappy about that with 49 seconds to go. A penalty against the Aggies on a late hit on the uh, punt. First down and 10. The fans now incensed over that are on their feet. High formation. 
lead back is Chandler. It'll go to the second. There's Moore pitching it back to Garrick McGee. He's under some pressure. Throws off into the flats. Incomplete. Down around the 35. Closest man to it, Albert Hall. Moore is the tailback out of an eye. It goes to Moore. Looking for the outside. He won't be there. He got the line of scrimmage, and that was all. He fumbled the ball, but was down when he fumbled it. Reggie Brown hit him thigh high and nailed him to the floor. And it did not start with the game clock at under uh, under uh, 25. So that's the end of the first quarter. The Aggies lead it 10 to nothing over Oklahoma. Now we'll take a break. Celebrating 100 years of football. You're listening to the Texas Aggies. Remember to ask before you act. Here's Oklahoma, third down and nine from their 44. The win now at their back. First play of the second quarter. The Aggies lead 10-0. McGee hit as he throws. Incomplete out at the 40-yard line. Down at the 40. a ms into the field. Ray Mickens being picked on. Leland McElroy standing back at the Aggie 12, maybe the 13. A little low. Controls it. Kicks away. It's a nice one. Mack will have a chance to return it from the 16 to the 20. Coming back this way. 25. Got a block on the corner. At the 30 out to the 30. Gross, the fullback, McElroy, the tailback, pulling the man under. No changes that I noticed in the offensive line. Play action. Throw the ball over the middle. Caught, apparently at the 50-yard line and a diving effort at midfield. And that is going to be Ryan Matthews. a and to the line of scrimmage. OU with a five-man front, two linebackers. Two men back deep, the safety. Straight drop, pulling. Looks, throws the ball over the middle of that middle screen to McKeon. McKeon wraps it up as he crosses the 40 and goes to the 35. McElroy flexed out to the left, Gross the single setback, it's going to go to Clifford, he is trying to move, breaks a tackle, 25, has a first down, 20, how about that, he broke a tackle at the line of scrimmage and then carried it for 15 yards before half the Oklahoma team jumped on his back at the OU 20, Anthony Fogel made the stop, 14 on the carry by Clifford. Cliff Gross would not be denied in his first victim. Number 46, Tremaine Green has left the lineup. He is in pain on the sideline. Split back formation, pulling. Long count, straight drop, wants to throw the ball, does to the right, caught, and then dropped by Matthews at the 11 incomplete. He had it hit from behind by Darius Johnson. Second down and 10 at the OU 20. And him takes it back to an eye formation. Two wideouts left, split into the right. No tie it in in the formation. May have been movement. There was by the AM line just before the snap of the ball. Second down and 15, and I have formation. Gross the fullback. McElroy the tailback. Slot to the right. Pulling again with a long count. Delay to Mack. Mack skipping around in the backfield. Hits the line of scrimmage. That's all he'll get on that one at the 25. Third down and about 15. Shotgun with a running back on each side. Corey throws in the flats. It's completed to Mitchell. Mitchell at the 16. Mitchell at the 15-yard line. And then about five or six Oklahoma players swarm over there. <laughs> Angle back to the right. He has a 53-yarder uh, earlier today. Spotted down. Kicks on its way. And he made it. He's kicked four in a row to start his career. We'll go with 22 until we hear something different. 12 the Aggies now make it 13 to nothing over Oklahoma in the second quarter. Keith Waggispack now will kick into the win for the first time today after the Kyle Bryant field goal. This is going to be a very short kick. It will be taken by one of the up men at the uh, Oklahoma 20-yard line and uh, brought out to about the 26. That's Chandler, Dwayne Chandler. May have been 23. Tim Denton, perhaps. But uh, the return then back to the Oklahoma 26. First down and 10. They have just two in the game. They have an eye formation. Break the eye motion. Back to the right. Pitch it coming back this way. A more big hole at the 40-yard uh, line. Knocked down at the 40. Moore flexed out to the left. The fullback Chandler, the lone setback. First and 10 at the Oklahoma 40. Sooners with the ball. Moore went in motion. Before the snap, here's McGee on the option. He'll lose a half yard, bringing it back to the left side. That never went anywhere. The Aggies, Antonio Armstrong was the first man to get him. Second and 10, high formation. Whiteouts both sides of the formation. Hand off to Moore again. Bottled up, spins away. Can't get away from a couple of more Aggies. He got two out of that as he goes to about the 42 and a half yard line. Their ball at the Oklahoma 42 yard line. Single setback, McGee looking to the left, throws toward the sideline and it is out of bounds, incomplete. Up over the head of the intended receiver on that play, Terrence Brown. 
Oklahoma has to punt. Blanton standing at the OU 28 line of scrimmage, the Oklahoma 42. Leland McElroy at the Aggie 18. Long count, snap, good one. No outside pressure. The punt will not be taken by McElroy. He's going to watch that one hit at the Aggie 21. Now roll inside the 20 to the 15-yard line. That's where AM will have the ball. First down and 15. Or I'll give you a phone number in a minute you can call about getting your magazine. AM first down and 10 from their 15. Hash right. Uh, it's play action. Pullick throwing back to Sanders at the 16 to the 20. At the 25, he got a first down. What a nice play. Chris Sanders just uh, wasn't going to go down. Last week in the ballgame, caught one. First down and 10 on the ground. This goes to Detron. The fullback, nice hole, 30. Breaks the tackle, 35-yard line. That's a nine-yard carry by Detron Smith, our pregame uh, player feature today. AM has the ball at their 35-yard line. They lead 13 to nothing, under 10 minutes to go in the first half. I formation again. And it'll go on the ground to Leland McElroy. Or is that Rodney? Rodney's Rodney. return. He got a yard on a second down. No, he didn't quite get the yard. He got a half yard. Touchdown pass to Rodney Thomas, the first of his career. Two field goals by Kyle Bryant. Third down, very short. Two tight ends. I formation. Long count pulling. Let's see if he sneaks for it. Still counting. Still counting. Now there's three seconds on the 25-second clock. Snap the ball and hand off to Rodney, bottled up, and he will not pick up a first down. He was caught behind the line of scrimmage by Cedric Jones. Terry waiting for the uh, Cole Reinert's deep snap. No pressure, kicks away. It's a nice one coming back to the right side. Let's see if he gets an Aggie bounce. It will hit at the OU 35 and will be killed there at the 35-yard line. Well, our apologies. The uh, referees were to give us a 60-second timeout. They didn't do it. And OU goes from an I formation. On the second and ten, option, McGee pitches back. They can't string it out far enough. The pitch went to Jeff Frazier. He got the line of scrimmage. Mills and a hole of the wideouts on the right side. They have a man on this side. And now here's McGee. The play is up over the head of the intended receiver, Michael McDaniel, who was the wideout on the short side of the field, up over his head. Scott Blanton standing back at the OU 20. McElroy, the return man at the 26. The Aggies are coming. They didn't get to it. Mack will have a chance to return from the 24. Then he goes down at the 20. <laughs> he had three men closing on him. One of the OU players early. There's a flag down. And get your Centennial Souvenirs. 1-800-677-8268. First down and 10. a and operating from their own 28. Come out with a heavy eye. Cliff Gross is the fullback. And that'll be Rodney Thomas, but it's play action. Now rolling back to the right, pulling, throwing down the field, out of bounds when McKeon catches the ball out at the Aggie 41-yard line into the bench with McKeon, yeah, along with the defender on that play, which was John Anderson. A&M again with the ball at their 28. Time, 624. Score, 13 to nothing, Texas A&M. Cliff Gross is the lone setback. Trips formation to the left. Pitch it to Cliff. Looking to the left corner. Blocking's there. Turns the corner. Oh, he's caught from behind by the jersey and drugged to the turf by uh, Brent DeQuazer. Tight ends on the left side. Two wideouts to the right. Play action. Pullock looking. Throws the ball. And it is caught for a first down at the 41-yard line. Brian Mitchell. Aggies need the right at the 39 for a first down. Leland McElroy in the lineup, split back formation. AM will show him a shotgun. Now Corey may be changing the play. Stepped up, said something. Calvin Collins, the center, snaps it back to Pulling. Waist high snap, shovel pass to the front, comes to Cliff, breaks the tackle at the 25, goes to the 28, got the penalty back, and that'll be it. Johnson, four for 11.5 average last week against Syracuse. Longest was 28. There's pressure. Oh, nice kick. Good sailor back and Johnson up at the 27. Here comes the return. And he will get up and then uh, be knocked down again at the 34. Nice kick off the foot of the Aggie, Sean Terry. Here's Oklahoma with the ball. First down and 10 at their 34-yard line. High formation. Two wide outs to the right side of the formation. And the handoff goes up the middle. That's the big uh, tailback. Across the 35 to the 40. James Allen on that carry for Oklahoma. He'll pick up about six. Second down and four will be coming. 
Oklahoma breaks the huddle. Hall and Mills go to the right side. They got the big tie-in in here on the left side of the formation. And it again goes to the tailback. He is slowed as he hits the line of scrimmage, but is able to develop that across the 40, 45 to the 46. Allen picks up the first down on a six-yard carry. Reggie Brown's out there. Antonio Armstrong, the starting front three in the lineup. And it's the fullback, Chandler. Got a yard. Goes to the 48-yard line. Our 47 make it. From the 46 to the 47, Larry Jackson. Michael Hendricks, the Hurricanes out there. Donovan, Donovan Greer, Greer. Reggie Brown. Larry Walker. Antonio and, Armstrong. Uh, the starting front three. Over the ball, Edward Jasper. Play action. And uh, McGee will throw the ball. And it's going to be caught for a first down. That's by P.J. Mills. Down to the Aggie 37-yard line. Nice throw under a lot of pressure. Ray Mickens was there defensively. That was a great throw by Garrick McGee. High formation. Tight end right. Two wide outs to the left. The open side of the field. McGee may be changing the call at the line of scrimmage. Handoff goes to the tailback. Nice hole at the 20. Breaks the tackle. He takes it inside the 15 down to the 13-yard line. Donovan Greer. Right now, you'd like to see the defense's best friend, and that would be a turnover. First down and 10. OU at the Aggie 13. By far, their deepest penetration of the day. The Aggies lead 13 to nothing. Here's McGee at the line of scrimmage from an eye formation. Changes the play on an audible. It'll be a delay. Goes to Allen. Line of scrimmage, that's all. He got back to the line, the 13. Second down and 10 coming, Oklahoma. Chandler is the lead back. And it's play action. McGee looks to the end zone, and it is. Oh, goodness gracious. They're going to call defensive pass interference oh, no. on Hurricane Hendricks, and it might have been. They'll line up in a straight T formation. Middle man is Moore. They have three tailbacks. Here's the handoff, and it goes to Moore. That's a... Oklahoma touchdown. Moore on the carry with 2.18 to go now. Here comes the point after by Scott Blanton. Blanton last week was 3 of 3 on extra points against Syracuse. Spotted down. The extra point is on the board. Now it's 13 to 7 to 2.18 to go until halftime. Blanton tees it up, favoring the hash mark to the right. Here's the kick. It's a boomer. That'll go into the end. That's going to go out of the end zone. That's into the it's Aggie band. Into the Aggie band lined up behind the uh, end zone to the north. Single setback for Texas A&M. Rodney Thomas. Pitch it to Rodney. Has blocking to the left. Now he's bottled up. Now he's going to be caught. He's trapped back at the 19-yard line. A&M second down and 11, play action from the pocket, throw over the middle to McKeon out to the 35-yard line, and they are going to, uh, now they're ruling incomplete now, McKeon Ooh, had the ball down at the 35 and then it went down and he's a little slow in getting up, and they've got Detron as the right half and Leland McElroy as the left half, third down and 11, need a first down complete. Of the third down conversion. Here is uh, Corey throwing the ball. Caught. That's going to be good for a first down to Ryan Matthews at the 33-yard line. At the 33, Ryan Matthews. A minute 44 to go until halftime. A&M leads OU 13-7. Split backs. Corey under center. Calvin Collins slot left. Tight end right. McKeon's back in the lineup. Corey throwing in the direction of McKeon. This time he'll hang on. Right at midfield. The 50-yard line. Anyway, we have a minute 24 as the clock rolls. The Aggies wide in out midfield, to the, though. Wide out to the left side's burn in the slot. Brian Mitchell split backs in that formation. Play action. Plenty of time. Lofts it to Rodney. Caught it. Dropped it at the 30-yard line. Slot formation. It's a light eye. Lineup. McElroy back in. Play action. Corey again. Time to throw. And it's incomplete as they again go to... That's Detron, Detron out of the backfield. So. Yeah, Corey's numbers could be a lot better than they are, and they're still of, not bad. Nine of 16, third down and 10. Need a third down conversion. Need the 40 of Oklahoma. One setback. They're looking up. They're going to set up a middle screen. That ball's knocked down and almost intercepted. Trying to hit McKeon off the line of scrimmage as the pocket continued to drop back. McKeon at the 50. Saw that ball knocked down by Baron Tanner. Terry wears a white kicking shoe. Cole Reiner's the deep snapper. Outside pressure. Nice kick. This is a boomer. Uh, Johnson's going to hit. He'll not take the fair catch. Take it at the eight. 
They're getting him the nine-yard line. Darius Johnson caught it. 42-yard punt, the best of the day for Sean Terry. And no return there as he's hit immediately. And it was Wilbert Biggins, number 21, down the field to make the hit on Darius Johnson. Matter of fact, I guess three field goals in the ballgame, huh? Here is the uh, play, and it'll go to Chandler. That will be the uh, fullback. He'll get five. They will give you a recap on the drives as we start the halftime. Second down and five, movement. Left guard moved. It'll cost Flags. Oklahoma five. 21 seconds to go until the halftime. They're going to let time run out here. We'll go to halftime. So we've got a whole lot coming up for you at halftime. Now five seconds. It is 13 to 7. The Aggies lead Oklahoma. And we're at halftime with the score. Texas A&M 13, Oklahoma 7. Celebrating 100 years of football, this is the Texas Aggie Network. And is that right? But uh, Michigan had won that ball game. Michigan won the game, didn't they? Michigan beat Notre Dame 24 to 23. And here's the kickoff. And it'll sail into the end zone and uh, hit, <laughs> hit the crossbar and came back out to the 10 yard line. Jeff Jones, the tackle on the left side. Richard and Horton Bauman are the guards. I formation, handoff. No, it's play action. Now Corey rolling back to the right. He just hit the tight end, McKeon, who was going down as he caught the ball at the 25. Gave him the 26-yard line. Second down and four coming. Aggies 202 total offense. 123 yards. Oklahoma second down at about four. AM and it goes to Rodney. Bottled up. Now he breaks free. Now he has a pretty good hold. Fighting for the 30th. I think oh, he got, I think the he got first it. Down. That's the best carry of the day for Rodney Thomas. They're on 31. Second half just underway. 13 to 7. AM leads Oklahoma. Long count goes to Rodney again. Slants it off the left side. Stiff arms the man. Carries to the 36-yard line. Here is a split back formation. Gross on the left half. Rodney is the right half. Slot to the right. Once again to Rodney Thomas. Jumps over a few folks. Hits one man. Goes head up with him. He got two, maybe three out of that. It's going to be a third down and about three coming when AM comes back to the line of scrimmage. Again, they, they slanted it to the left side. Rodney Thomas, 8,400 yards rushing in high school. High formation, long count. It's going to be play action. Rolling back to the right. Pulling, throws, and it is. Is that intercepted by Oklahoma, or is he down? No, it's incomplete. Said he scooped it up off the turf. Intended receiver was Kevin Byrne. Darius Johnson almost picked one off, facing a third and three. The Aggies could not convert. Third down conversions today. Now three out of ten for AM, two of eight for Oklahoma. A little high on the snap. Outside pressure. Another nice kick by Sean Terry. Darius Johnson backs up to the 16. They're closing on him. Still closing at the 23-yard line. About a seven-yard return by Darius Johnson. Oklahoma first down and 10. The right guard moved before the snap of the ball. They'll be penalized five before they can run a play in this series. All right, now they have first and 15. Two wideouts to the left. An eye formation. Goes on the ground, and it's caught in the backfield. A yard on the carry by James Allen. Larry Walker, one of the first men to get there. The sophomore from Russ caught Allen after a one-yard pickup. Chandler and Allen. Play action. McGee looking right, throwing toward the sideline. That's going to be caught by Albert Hall. That's not enough for a first down. He got about seven on that. They're going to face a third down and five. That's going to be Chandler and Allen, but Chandler is the lone setback. Play action. Here is McGee throwing. It is almost Ooh. intercepted by Antonio Armstrong. Batted it up in the air, and he almost had it. They were trying to throw a little uh, flat screen here to the running back. James Allen and Armstrong got a hand on it. Blanton six for a 36-yard average in the first half. His longest 43 line of scrimmage. OU 27. Leland stands at the 30. That was a low snap. Not a good kick. It's a, kind of a sailor here, and it's going to hit at the... It's going to hit about the Aggie 30, about 28 yard line, and then Leland was having all He couldn't kinds. make up his mind whether he was going to catch I, it or I, do I, I not. Do I catch I, it, yeah. do I not? I this time they take over with 11.35 to go in the third. I formation, Detron Smith and Leland McElroy. Here's Mack with the carry. 
And he maintains his footing and goes all the way out to the 40. He was down at the 30, put his left hand down, kept his balance, got out to the 41-yard line at their 41. Play action. Bullock again. Puts it in the air. It's in the flats to Chris Sanders. Breaks the tackle. Gets six yards. Make it five yards to the 46-yard line. Second down and five. It's a light eye for the Aggies. Detron Smith, the fullback. Motion from Ryan Matthews coming back to the right side. Open side of the field. It's going to be Leland McElroy. He's bottled up in the backfield. Neither team today with a lot of luck running the ball against the other's defense. Mack is stopped right about the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down and about six facing the Aggies. Cliff Gross checks back in. Okay, it's Gross and McElroy as the running backs. And it's a split back formation. Gross right, McElroy left. Split in left, Flanker right. Straight drop, pull it. Time to throw. He's going to dump it off. It's caught by Gross out of the backfield at the 50 to 45 yard line. It's a first down, Texas A&M. Yeah, what a first down for the Aggies at the 45. All right, operating now in Oklahoma territory on their second possession of the second half. Play action again. Pollock looking over the middle. It's going to be McKeon. He dropped the ball. Flaker right, tight end on that side of the formation. Split into the left. Now the Flaker Matthews in motion to the open side of the field. Long count Pollock. Play action. Goes to Rodney. Rodney has some running room. 40. Flag down. It's going to be a hold against the Aggies. There will be no first down. It's a holding call against AM back at the line of scrimmage. Here's a second down play. Two wideouts to the left and a split in on the right. Play action. Pulling, throwing. He has a man wide open at the Oklahoma 45, down to the 40, down to the 39 yard line. I think it's visit Brian Mitchell. It was. Here's the third down play and about five needed. Both the OU players, I'm not sure if Johnson left, but uh, Simpson had to. Single setback. OU chasing the play from behind. Sacked uh, and that's back at the 47-yard line. Sack John Anderson got on Pollock's back. Never saw him. P.J. Mills will replace Darius Johnson as the return man. Line of scrimmage, the OU 46-yard line. Terry's punt will go down to the 20 and be killed there by Andre Williams at the 20-yard line. P.J. Mills had replaced Johnson. That's a 27-yard kick. <laughs> Oklahoma starting quarterback this season. Takes the snap play action. Sets up the pocket. Plenty of time. Going deep. He will have an incomplete at about the 38-yard line. Intended for P.J. Mills defending Ray Mickens. Ray gets up and says he's making hey, a good case. Interfered, uh, with, but it goes incomplete down at the Aggie 30, about 34-yard line. They come out in an eye formation with two wideouts. They'll run the option. McGee looking for the corner. He won't find it. He got two yards, and that's all. He has Reggie Brown ride him into the floor. And it will be a third down and eight facing Oklahoma from their 22-yard line. Defensive coordinator Tommy Tuberville is on the sideline. Ensminger, the, uh, Steve Ensminger is in the uh, press box. Here's a play-action pass thrown out here in the flats, and that's almost... It is intercepted by Dennis Allen. A juggling act at the 35-yard line. He knocked it away, turned around, was actually standing on top of Albert Hall, the receiver, and juggled for a moment, and then was able to hang on. That's Dennis Allen, and that will be his fourth career, his fourth career interception. And for playing time versus interceptions, that's unbelievable on Dennis Allen. The Aggies have it. First down and 10. Rodney carries across the 30, down to the 25, down about the 23. Rodney Thomas at the Oklahoma 22-yard line. Single setback. And it goes to Cliff Gross. And he breaks the tackle at the 20. Knocks a man down at the 15. Spins away, goes to the 11. Down to close to the 10-yard line. He knocks somebody on his backside at the 15. Tried to spin away, which he did from another man. And now that player's not getting up. Handoff goes to Rodney. Jumps. He's going to be close for a first close. down about the two. It's a second down and about three needed. They're going to spot him at the two. He's going to be about a half yard shy of a first. Down. Smith, Gross, and Rodney Thomas, the running backs. On a third down and very short. Rodney diving. He has the first. He's got the first down inside the one. First and goal. AM at the Oklahoma half yard line. Pitch it. Rodney looking for the left corner. He will get a touchdown. Texas AM. Rodney Thomas, number 31 for his career. AM will come out in a heavy eye. Tight end right, Pullig, long count, man in motion, Matthews to the open side, back to the left, still counting, Pullig, 
Play action. Rolling right at the goal line. It is incomplete to Cliff Gross. It takes six plays to go 32 yards. The, the key play, a third and one conversion at the two-yard line. Rodney sweeps left for the touchdown. The try for two was an incomplete pass to Cliff Gross. The Aggies lead at 19-7. to seven. Darius Johnson uh, will watch one of the upbacks take it at the 11. That's Chandler, and he's dropped at the 18-yard line. For Oklahoma, the last possession ended in an interception. The Aggies turned it into a touchdown. In the backfield, pitch goes to Allen. Swarmed at the line of scrimmage. James Allen, pitch right. Second down and a long nine. And the flats on the pass. Throw it too high to Albert Hall. Out of bounds would not have been enough for the first down. It went into the Oklahoma bench. Single setback. Two wide outs to the left. Here's McGee. Sets up. Throws. He has a man throwing over his head. 40-yard line. Scott Blanton's last kick was for 48. Leland McElroy's the return man at the Aggie 41. AM coming up the middle. Here's the kick. And it sails uh, right up. Dropped the ball. Leland's going to have to hustle to get to it. Takes it on a bounce. Oh, he no. couldn't get the ball. Oklahoma has recovered at the 15-yard line. Leland trying to catch the ball over his shoulder. Had it go off his fingertips. Chased it. Kept chasing it. And as the football will, it took one of those crazy hops. And Oklahoma just got a big break. Chandler is the fullback. Allen the tailback. Tight end left. Goes to Allen. And he'll have yardage to the 10-yard line. Flags are down. One, two, three of them. I don't know if they have the Aggies. May have been guilty of a face mask. Big play for OU. Here's first and goal from the Aggie 5. On the ground. Allen down to about the, he got the four. Not much there. Trying to run to the left side. Second and goal coming. Antonio Armstrong, the senior out of Houston. One of the leaders for this wrecking crew. Cole House backfield. Yeah, they got a... Uh, they got a straight T. Here's McGee throwing out into the flats. Caught. Touchdown, Allen. That makes it 19 to 13. AM with the lead and the point after to come. So OU comes right back to answer the Aggie touchdown. And here's the point after. And it's good. They answer the AM touchdown. Scott Blanton has been deadly on kicks today. He put that one out of the back of the end zone. 19 to 14 is our score in favor of the Aggies. Detron Smith, the fullback. Leland McElroy is the tailback. Pulling. Play action. Coming back to the right. Looking down the field. On the sideline. Threw that into the Aggie bench. He was trying to hit Chris Sanders. 71,000 watching the ball game today. A lot of Oklahoma fans here as well. Split back formation. Second and 10 from the 20. On the ground to Leland. Back up the middle he goes. He got four to the 24. It'll be third down and six coming. That's Leland I have now. Third down and six. McElroy and Smith are the running backs. Split back formation. Play action. Pulling. Pumps. Still looking. Now he's being chased. Now he tosses one. Caught by Leland on the sideline for a first down at the 43-yard line. Uh oh What poise. What poise Corey Pulling has. First down and 10 at the Aggie 43. Hash left. Split backs again. Rodney and Leland in the same backfield. And it's going to go to Rodney Thomas. And he is... We'll, uh, drop for a yard loss at the 42. A uh, minute five in the third. It is 19 to 14. A&M. Snap the ball. Pressure up the middle. Incomplete pass thrown to Chris Sanders. Clock stopped at 56 seconds in the third. Split back formation. Big play here. Try to keep the drive. So draw out of the backfield to Rodney. He's at midfield. He has a first down. He's at the Oklahoma 45 yard line. First down and 10 at the Oklahoma 44-yard line. Single setback is Detron Smith. Biggins has flared out to the left. Pitch it to Detron to the left corner. Cuts it back inside. Has the 40. Got four. Just across the 40, Detron. And we got 20 seconds to go until the end of the third. Wilbert Biggins stays in at a running back. Here on the near side is Leland McElroy. Goes to Biggins. Spins away, fell down, got up on a second down and five, got the ball to the 37-yard line. OU's 37. AM will need three for a first down. That was the second down play. Third and about, yeah, about three coming up. Detron and uh, Leland McElroy. And a third down and about three. They need the Oklahoma 34. 
Handoff to Leland. Looks for a hole. And he's going to be close. For oh, I think he's got it. it. Depends on the spot, oh, but I, I think, think he's off got it. Bus. And the Aggies now. First down and 10 at the OU 34. This is a big possession. They a ahead 19 to 14. Play action again. Pullick in the Pullick rather in the flats. Caught by Sanders. He'll get the 32. Ash to the right. Offset in the backfield. Here's Leland McElroy. Wrapped up behind the line. We'll lose the yard. Will the Aggies back to the 34-yard line? David Campbell. Now third and nine. Third and nine coming up for AM. Third and about nine. Need the OU 24. It's a shovel pass forward. There's a flag down, however. There will be no first down as the shovel pass went to Detron to the 31-yard line. That's uh, McElroy to the 31. Two wideouts, both sides of the ball, single blocking back. Pulling out of a shotgun. Pocket at the OU. At the Aggie, here's a quarterback sack. Everything covered down the field. He sacked. Somebody just took his helmet off. No, it's an Oklahoma helmet that came off. Sacked at the Aggie 48-yard line. The pocket had drifted back to the 45. Sean Terry, which will be his sixth effort of the day. His last kick was for 27. Here's the snap from Cole Reiner. So they've got outside pressure. Kicks away. Nice sailor. And it will be taken at the 9. There will be a return, but not a whole lot here as they bring him down at the 15, a 6-yard return, Darius Johnson. First and 10 OU at their 15-yard line. Single setback, Chandler, play action. McGee looking back to the far side of the field. He just overthrew everybody. All the way down to the Aggie 45, his nearest receiver would have been Albert Hall back at the Oklahoma 40. Oklahoma 15, Sooners with the ball, high formation. Play action, McKee again throwing the ball, and it's going to be caught this time out at the 34-yard line. That's by Albert Hall. Chandler the lead back. Now Moore is the tailback, an eye formation. McKee, and it goes to Moore. Up the middle he goes. Breaks the tackle. He's all the way out to the 40. Now he's to the 45-yard line. That's going to be good for 11 yards. Collier the lead back. Moore the tailback. It's an eye. Two wideouts to the left. Tight end right. Delay out of the backfield goes to Collier. He gets five out to the 50. Second about five from midfield. McGee. High formation. Maybe changing the play at the line. He better hurry. Time's out. Yep. And no, no, no flag. Here's the handoff. Delay out of the is. backfield. Now there, now there is a flag. They're going to get a five-yard uh, penalty here on delay of game. Mills in the hall wide left. Moore, one of the running backs, flexed in that direction. Collier, the tailback, lines up behind McGee, the quarterback. Tight end right. Flag, movement. They're going to be penalized again. Movement in the offensive line. Second down and now 15. Second and 15, Oklahoma. Three wideouts left side. Play action. Here's McGee. Hit as he throws the ball. Incomplete. Into the Aggie bench. He was blasted from the backside. Single setback. McGee looking. The pocket. Throwing deep over the middle. And fingertips Hurricane Hendricks Billy Mitchell is back to return the punt standing at the Aggie 19 he's the third man that a has sent back there Lowry and then my McElroy and now Mitchell here's the punt Mitchell waiting for it here it comes he will take it at the 19 here comes the return he's up the middle of the field somebody around the ankles drags him down at the 30 here's first down and 10 a and with the ball at their own 30 running backs that's Cliff Gross and Rodney Thomas pulling the man under. Calvin Collins, his center. Long count. Takes the ball. Hands it off to Gross. Looking for the right side. He has five. He has ten. He has 11. Twelve yards covered. First down and ten from their 41. a and with a split back formation. Slot left. Comes back this way. It's a nice hole. Rodney cuts it back inside. Has about seven. Flags everywhere. Going to be holding again? I, I don't know. I, Maybe get a face mask. Split back formation. McElroy and Biggins. There's a delay out of the backfield of Biggins, and Biggins is fighting for some yards. He turned what should have been a big loss, and uh, now he got that out to the 34, so it was a yard loss. Could have been a big loss, had a, a yard only on that. Tyrell Peters made that stuff. That went nowhere. Second down now, that same 16 coming. Oklahoma got a...
Recovery on a punt. Turn that into a touchdown. Pulling from the shotgun. Rolling right. Protections there. Still rolling. Throwing downfield. Incomplete. Tried to hit Ryan Matthews. It's uh, Leland McElroy and Cliff Gross, the running backs. They show a split back formation. And it'll go to McElroy as a lead block. They'll turn that into yardage. Uh, out to the 40. That's about a 6-7 yard pickup at the 41 yard line. And that's going to bring up fourth down and a punt. His longest today has been 46. That was his fourth kick of the day. Stands at the Aggie 25. Got Darius Johnson back. Here's the kick. kick. Oh, this is a nice one. That's his best of the day. All the way back to the 8. Let's see if the coverage will be there. Here comes the return. Tripped up from behind and now it's flat everywhere. The tailback Allen actually lines up in their end zone. McKee, an audible. High formation. Take the ball. Give it to Allen. Breaks it over. Fumble! And it is a and m football at the nine-yard line. First goal from the nine. Split back formation. Pullig, the man under, takes the ball. Hands it off to Leland. Looking for a hole. Gets a little bit of daylight. Takes it to the six-yard line. Second down and six. Split back formation. Tied in left. Hand off again. Delay out of the backfield to McElroy. McElroy down to the... They're going to give him the three-yard line. Two tight ends. Full house backfield. Slanted eye off to the right. Play action. Look into the end zone. Pulling throw into the back of the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. The 10. All by himself. A decoy run by Cliff Gross. He was at the front of the end zone. Kyle Bryant's point after. Here's the kick, and it is good. Now it's 26 to 14. Here he is to the end zone, and it'll go about two yards deep. They'll get a return from Darius Johnson. Out to the 10, to the sideline. He goes to the 20, breaks him in hill, and knocked down at the 27-yard line. He hit, a, he hit a brick wall. It was the 12th man, and do we know who the 12th man yeah, is? Yeah, they didn't today? bring that up. They didn't bring it down to us today. They are 6 of 22 with one interception and just 69 yards. One, here's a first and 10 from the 20, throwing it to the sideline. Into the Aggie bench it goes. Another incompletion for Garrick McGee. Starting front three, McGee setting up the pocket. He is hit as he throws the ball. It's batted down. Is that a fumble? Just threw the ball up in the air. That could be an unsportsmanlike call. It is a no flag. Wait a minute. They're still talking. The officials. He was hit as he was trying to throw the ball, but apparently the change yep. of possession. Here it, it is. is. That's it. The fumble and the Aggies recover at the ten. Brandon Mitchell apparently hit him or got the fumble. He got the fumble recovery. I have formation. Biggins the tailback. Detron Smith, the fullback. Long count, Pollock takes it. Play action, rolling right. Look into the end zone. He's being chased. Now he'll be quarterback sacked back at the 14-yard line. The Aggies have a tight end here on the left side. Split back formation. Biggins and here's the handoff to Biggins. Biggins, a little hole here on the left side. Not enough, though, as he gets about three yards to the 12. That was the second down and 14. The left tackle, or excuse me, left guard right now for AM. Check that number for you. That is Kobe Hackrat is in there. The freshman is playing that left guard position. Pitch it. Goes to Detron. Left corner at the 10. Out of bounds at the 9. A third down play. Now apparently a field goal effort coming up. Kyle Bryant with two field goals today. This would be the fifth for Kyle this season. Snap. Spotted down. Kick is on its way. And he nailed it. He is 5 out of 5. Here's Waggis Pack. And the kick. Going to be very short. One of the up backs will have to take. Going to hit at the 10 and bounce to the 7. Picked up there. Coming back this way is Mills. Typhle McMullen at the 14-yard line. Will make the stop for Texas A&M at the 14. And Gary Gibbs has said this is going to be the best team they've had since 1987. This also keeps the win streak in Kyle Field alive. Here is pressure up the middle. And a quarterback sack of McGee. And that's going to be Reggie Thank Graham. Second down and about 12. Single setback. Why two wideouts on the uh, left side of the formation. Here is P.J. Mills. Makes the reception at the 22. Shy of a first down by about three. They will need their 25. Ray Mickens made that stop. 
clock rolling, counting down to 2.30, as Dave just told you. Single setback. Trips formation to the right side. McGee looking back in this direction. Up over the head of the intended receiver, and that will be Albert Hall. That was way over Fourth his head. down. How many times today have we seen Oklahoma have a pass like they've just thrown way up out of the reach of the receiver any number of times? Short three, long two. High formation. McGee dropping back, throwing the ball, and it is incomplete. All the That's going to be a flag against AM. Intended for P.J. Mills. Interference called on Leo, one of the Aggies. Do not become involved with the recruiting process. Remember to ask before you act. Here's McGee from the pocket, throws under pressure, caught. Not enough for the first down at the OU 31. That's going to be caught by Albert Hall again. Here's a second down. Little Sun on the far side of the field in the stands there. Under pressure, throwing the ball over the middle. Batted down, however. <laughs> Brandon Mitchell reached up, swatted it right back at McGee. Here's the third down play. Straight drop. Throwing. Caught. No, it's in. No, it's intercepted. Out of the hands of Mills. Down the sideline goes Ray Mickens. At the five. Touchdown. It went out of the hands of P.J. Mills. Right behind him. Mickens intercepted the ball. Carries it in for a touchdown. 14, Texas A&M, 141 to go in the ballgame. I, I can't help but say this. Now maybe Oklahoma has an understanding of how the Aggies felt last year. And now the Oklahoma fans are really leaving the stadium. Here is Kyle Bryant. Point after. Stormy Case holds. Nevins through the uprights. And the Aggies lead. Now 36 to 14 with 141 to go in the game. Two strange interceptions. And both of them lead to touchdowns. Here's Swagus back. And the kickoff is taken at the 10. That's by Mills. To the 20. Out to the 25. Dancing around to the 30. And that'll be all he's going to get. A minute and a half to go as the clock stops at a minute 33. 133 to go. He had a great game last week. But that was against Syracuse. This is against the wrecking crew. Under pressure. He's out of the pocket. Running up the field. McGee hit. Knocked down from behind. Uh, Reggie carries Brown. A, carries for a first down to the 42-yard line. Well, last year, Oklahoma claimed themselves the unofficial champions of the Southwest Conference with wins over TCU, over the Aggies, over Texas, over uh, Texas Tech. Won't be the case this year. Straight drop by McGee. That set up a screen out of the backfield. The fullback, he is slammed down after a three-yard pickup to the 45. And we've just gone under a minute, 55 seconds. Oh, you got to appreciate what they've done. Here's McGee again. Straight drop. Here's a quarterback sack. It's Keith Mitchell. That's yeah. why you bring Mitchell into the ballgame. He's an outstanding pass rusher. He compliments Antonio Armstrong from the other side extremely well. 37 seconds to go in the ballgame. 36 to 14. Straight drop now rolling a little bit to the right. Now sets up in the pocket. Now throws it back. Caught. That'll be by Albert Hall. That'll be good for an OU first down across the 50 to about the 47 and a half yard line. That's an unusual huddle. First down and 10. Straight drop. McGee into the Oklahoma bench incomplete. That would have been enough for a first down, but it was on the sideline and high in the air with Albert Hall. 25 seconds to go in the game. They're coming. They pick up the blitz, however. Throwing back to the right, and it will be caught in a great hit put on Albert Hall, and he hung on. He was hit by Andre Williams and also by Dennis Allen, and I think Dennis took the worst of that. He comes up living a little bit, but he's all right. 17 seconds. Garrick McGee with a single setback. Rolls to the left, looks in that direction. Cut out in the flats. It is off the fingertips of the intended receiver, P.J. Mills, and then in two members of the Corps of Cadets standing on the track beyond the Oklahoma bench on the far side. Stop the clock at 10 seconds to go. Oklahoma with 10 seconds to go. The Aggies lead 36-14. McGee sets up, throws out of the pocket, and it is intercepted by Dennis Allen at the 10. To the 20, to the 25-30. Has a man on him at the 33, and the game is over. How about Dennis Allen? Two interceptions today. We'll make sure indeed that was Dennis, and it was. He it gets was. two and now has five for his career. That is something else for that young man from Hearst. Gets his second interception on the final play of the game. Five for his career. The 6'2", 185-pound junior with What a day. Now the two teams meet at midfield. The game is over with. And the Aggies have won it. 
by a score of 36 to 14. That's the final score. AM 36, Oklahoma 14. Stay tuned for the post-game show. Celebrating 100 years of football, this is the Texas Aggie Network.
we, you know, I said before the season, people were concerned about motivation and everything. Our, our goal has always been to go out and try to win every football game. And uh, we, we don't talk much about which one or the, the schedule or what we just say, well, who we play first, and we'll try to win that one. And then when the next one comes along, we'll try to play that one. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm delighted to be 2-0 and oh. I, I, uh, with the inexperience that we had and just a total reshuffling of the, the coaches and the uh, brand new lines on both sides of the ball with Calvin moving from guard to center. That's a new experience for him. And he's just a sophomore. It's not like he's some veteran player. He, he's a sophomore that was feeling his way around. And to do that, uh, I'm really pleased with, with our team in a way. Uh, we've got good personality on this team. Uh, they, they, they will hang in there. They'll play. They'll play hard. And uh, that's fun. They're a fun team. Uh, I said this summer that it was going to be an exciting year. And I really believe, I think we've just scratched the surface uh, as to how good we can be. Uh, I was concerned about, and I, I told you guys this week, you know, that uh, exercise bicycle. I still think that was a pretty good little analogy about, uh, you know, we had that, you know, I mean, we was pedaling like heck to say, can we get over this first peak? You know, they threw a peak at us right here at the first of the year. And playing in Baton Rouge was it was uh, was a little peak, and then we got another bigger one this week. So uh, I think now this team will get better as the year goes on. Now we're playing too many young guys. Guys like Brandon Mitchell are going to get better. Uh, Reggie Brown's going to get better. Larry Walker's going to get better. And they, they just never have played. So the more they play, the better they're going to get. So it's exciting at this point to be 2-0, and oh, to have an open date and say we, we've got some time here to work and get a little more practice time. And uh, so I, I'm, I'm pleased that we're at where we are at this time. RC, their score late in the first half. I mean, what, what was your thought going into the locker room? As, as dominant as y'all were in the first half, it's 13-7 with that late score. I felt like that we, uh, in the game, we, we didn't. I was disappointed that we didn't put the game away early. I, I thought at halftime it should have been, it should have been over at halftime. And we fooled around on offense. The penalties killed us. We had way, way too many. We've never been a team to get a lot of penalties. But I think some of that is the inexperience that we've got a bunch of offensive linemen out there playing that, uh, that just haven't played very much. And they're doing it against a good football team. And uh, the penalties really hurt us. We had a couple of drop passes, one key drop ball there going in. We were driving, going down about to score to make it 20 and we drop a pass and then we got a penalty the next play and then we we're, we, we just got out of sync so i was really disappointed at halftime that the score wasn't uh, that it that it wasn't really in good shape by halftime i thought we had uh, allowed the score to be to stay close <clears throat> dennis allen kind of made his name known uh, with that interception against texas and in today i mean he was just a headhunter Dennis is a good football player. You know, he's one of those guys, I told the coaches uh, last year, uh, he's one of those guys when you put him on the field, good things happen. And uh, I, I couldn't be happier with him. I'm really pleased today uh, with our special teams. Uh, other than the one uh, miscue uh, where, where Leland tried to make a circus catch running over his shoulder, other than that, I thought our special teams were outstanding. You know, the field goal kicker, Kyle Bryant, did a great job. Uh, we had excellent coverage on our kickoffs and punt coverages, and uh, really, I, I thought it was a, a, a great day for our special teams. When you, when you made the offensive coaching changes uh, in the offseason, was this what you had in mind? Is this where you, you had to pass to win a ball game you could do? Uh, well, that was what I was wanting to get to. We, we're not anywhere close to the what we want to be right now but we I see some promise in what we're doing I, I see some situations where we do have a chance when we call a pass play uh, I have a lot more confidence that that if we do fall behind or if we need to make some plays I, I think when you look at it, it's ragged right now in the passing game there's a lot of timing involved and uh, sometimes you can be very close to being pretty good today we had two or three drop balls that that keep drives going. We had receivers open. The, the one throw to Rodney, uh, just just a hair, you know, just a hair away from being a, being a, that, that was the same play that he had scored on earlier. And we were just, he was so wide open. I think Corey got a little excited and overthrew it. But, uh, you know, just a hair away from making that play. And there were several more. Uh, Ryan Matthews dropped the curl right there one time. It was a good throw and uh, didn't catch it. But there were some things that uh, we're getting close and our balance today and looking at the yards uh, the rushing and passing yards uh, we, we again uh, had a good percentage and I want to keep developing for those games where we can 
and it's a little misleading right now. And you look and say, you know, we're not rushing maybe, or it doesn't appear sometimes that we're rushing as much. But we end up both weeks now have had, had decent numbers rushing. But we're becoming less predictable, I think, in the way we call plays. You know, so you know, we're, we're, you look out there, and are we going to run or pass on first down? And it's kind of a guess on what, you know, what we're going to do. If it's second long, are we going to run and pass? We had some big plays today on second long and third long running the draw. So now we're in third and long. We're running the draw, making a first down. But we may throw. And on first down, we may run or may throw. So we're getting more of what I think you have to have uh, to be – less predictable in what your scheme is. And I think we will continue to get better. I'm pleased with the progress. I think Corey's getting better. And, uh, it's a funny thing when, you, when you're when you playing the game, you know. when you, As a player, you go out and you practice every day, and then you go play on that Saturday. You know, as a player, you got to put a lot of things behind you, such as the pose and such as, you know, the, the height. You know, but when you go out on the day, I think uh, those two teams, when they're playing, I think uh, it'll be decided on the field. Oh, I'm satisfied, you know, but uh, I'm satisfied with just the wins. You know, I'm not satisfied with the improvement because I think, you know, like Coach Slocum was saying earlier, you know, that the team has not even scratched the surface of how good this team can be. But I think, you know, we're going to go to work again next week. You know, we're not going to take any time off. You know, we're going to go to work. But I I'm look looking, I'm looking for good things out of this team. Well, they, were, uh, they ran a smash corner route where they took the number one receiver and put him in the flat and then tried to run the corner route behind him. And what they try to do is suck the corner back up and uh, try to create a void. And uh, we worked on that route all week in practice. So when I saw it, you know, I was able to break on the ball. Well, you know, I mean, that's the thing about defense. You know, you can't always control what, you know, what the other team's going to do. And uh, whenever they have a sudden change, make a big play or something like that, it's up to the defense to come back and uh, take charge and make a play themselves.